yeah what's up my people how on a day <laughs> i'm back again what did they happen with in this up welcome back again to our channel So guys, it's very easy to record with a phone. I'm loving it. It's convenient, actually. Um, guys, uh, make sure you like this video, all right? And subscribe if you're here to do so for more videos. Yes, of course, there's going to be more videos. Um, we have an uh, updated news today about just love, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Jolof, um because Mr. Jolof accused this lover. It's still, it's still got to do with Apostle Suleiman, you know. And we also have news about that pastor that defiled um, a 16-year-old. We still have an updated report about that. But I don't know where do we... Okay, let's start uh, from this one, uh, Mr. Jolof. Uh, so Mr. Jolof accused um, this lover of collecting or taking um, 10 million naira from someone. And the person reached out because just lover keep putting out informations about apostle suleiman so the lady according to um mr jolof i think stays in um abuja paid 10 million naira into just lovers <laughs> just lover uh, wife's account um so I, I i i don't i don't understand this so just lover still went ahead to give the information anyways and i'm asking if the information's false why would anybody still pay someone to stop talking about because just never actually reacted to this to stop talking about a person like why would you even pay you paying shows that you're bribing so i don't know there's no mr jolof didn't share any screenshots we're going to watch the video but he didn't share any screenshot with us that this is the uh, proof of payment or this is um the message i got from the lady nothing guys let us watch this uh video um mr jolof's video talking about this and after that i'm going to read just lover's reply and after just lovers reply we'll move straight to that pastor remember that pastor we, yeah most of you that watch the video know what i'm talking about 212 <laughs> 212 <coughs> you just lover you misbehave you really misbehave you really misbehave you go come outside call the do like say you be a gay bread but normally say your work out to this poor people name they behave like bandits. You know, like you say, you be bandits when you get gone. You blackmail here, you blackmail here. Even when some people don't want me, some master, you also go, like, say, they don't want you to they you know, they respect their bonus, they will still contact to say, ah, because this person is my gun, they lock up for this matter. They will pay you money, but you still lock up for the matter. You will still go destroy person in the end again, because eh, eh, you will apologize later. 62 years old, you must have to not pay you 10 million. Say, I beg. I be respectful the man. Whether the matter not true, whether the matter not lie, just lock up. The woman give you 10 million naira and you requested for 50 million. They pay you 10 million finish. You still go ahead, go do it to your destruction where you go do to destroy person name because your work not to cut to kill to steal and to destroy. If you say we're not going to hear the matter, you don't use Nigeria as the cash crews, you blackmail for a living. You blackmail for a living. And if you say you be ghost. The Bitcoin account that they transfer money give you so. Now your wife, now they used to pay you, your wife. I mean, if you say if they post the address, I cannot go to check the address. Now your wife. Then you call the talk here, you go apologize later. This is for such habit to, you may say, I'll be, let's say, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be man of God, we God no call. You know understand? I'll be man of God, we God no call. This is swear for you. What about the money you would have given? The 10 million, you have the 10 million so now. Don't give me money back. Just bring the money call back, sir. Because the mama, the mama, the mama, the mama, the mama, the mama, the 10 million call back. Don't let me go here, my regalia for you. You don't know. Don't let me just tell you. You go to the mama. Seven days, you turn that money. Seven days, you turn that money. And if you know, say, just about the, the 30 men of you now. Eh, uh, one at the pay. Now, 50 break when I receive call, you go flash up. You understand? Go flash up. 
this lover they use now to the big body. Bandit. Bandit now, Nabi. Um, somebody in the comment section said this lover's uh, list is fake. And I remember um, discussing this with um, a friend, you know, recently. And they said, what if this lover's uh, list is fake? So, guys, let me know. In the past few days, did it cross your mind um, that um, maybe, uh, you know, this, this lover's list is fake? He, he or she just, you know, put it out there, you know, just to get attention and stuff. Again, the reason why people... The main reason why people believe this lover is because of the track record. And that's what people use, you know, to judge anybody or to rate anybody, right? The the, the, the track records, the, the, the history. You know, there have been information put out by this lover. Not all of them, maybe 75% of it, you know, eventually, you know, turns out to be true. Not all of them, not all of them. Yeah. But I think that is why. So a lot of people believe this so-called faceless blogger all right just love her um replied that they posted this on their page first and replied the um the comment was um so someone from the ministry paid just lover 10 million naira not to publish apostles case i uh, just lover took the money and still went ahead to drop the gist just love on a problem and this lover replied, person will collect the 10 million go they bill go they ball now. So what this lover is trying to say, just reading the first line, is they don't know about the 10 million error. That the the person that paid pays 10 million or paid 10 million error into someone's account was probably be scammed if it's true. Because they are not the one they paid that 10 million naira to. That's what they're trying to say here. Said Una Mumu reach uh, where them still scam Una. I challenge you all openly to bring forth receipt of uh who collected the 10 million naira or make una okay suddenly uh now now uh bring forth the person we pay now now with proof um if not una, well that's just love i said with blackmailing who now I bring in more tactics i'm here for it all <sighs> what do you think <laughs> just love <her. laughs> ah man it's it's funny a particular blog shaking the nation <laughs> I'll, I'll just say the 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 media space okay moving on to the next one here we have that pastor right the wife defends him i mean there's proof out there there's evidence that this man actually chatted with a 16 year old and it shows there i mean this is a man that pleaded not guilty in court right and it's very obvious that this man sleeping with the 16 year old yet the wife said i stand and we stand <laughs> with my husband i mean this is the wife remember this is the wife that called that 16 year old and said if you continue to sleep my, with my husband you will die you know the lady the, the 16 year old um girl told the pastor that this is what mama said or something and this is what mama said um yet the same lady the same lady is coming out to defend i mean some people will just keep mute i mean you don't have to react but she is uh, our mama in christ and of course maybe they've got kids together and it's got to defend the man and money you know it's going to affect her financially as well and of course she might also lose her home Maybe that's why she just want to, you know, be there for her husband. And I understand. But at the same time, in a situation like this, even though you're going to be there for your husband, you can just keep mute. Because we have evidence. There's evidence out there. It shows that this man did this. You can be with him, but releasing a statement two days after the evidence of faced on social media, saying that you stand and restand, do i think it's i just don't think it's necessary at this point um let us read exactly what she said the purpose um is already defeated i stand with you and i stand with you you are my best and i will always um cherish and love you till eternity uh, we are team um we they we they make impact 
please uh, this is formal notice to anyone who insult me on this page i won't take it lightly with anyone i love and cherish my husband a lot and my family enough is enough if your water is bitter mine is not bitter i mean this um bishop name is uh bishop felix okpara is 39 years old and is the pastor uh, of Mercy House Church International. And this guy, I think, is still with the police. Um, yeah, because the case is already in court. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. All right, guys, that is where we're going to um, hold it. And if there's any information that's linked to this or what I report you know previously i'm of course going to update you guys this makes my work easier <laughs> thank you uh, for watching guys like this video and subscribe you know for more videos and for more stuff okay <sighs> peace